Right now, I am in the Gettysburg Museum of History, and in some of the earlier episodes of American Artifact, we, we featured some artifacts from what is called the Peffer Collection, which is right here behind me. Uh, Fred Peffer uh, was the great-great-grandfather of Eric Dorr, who is the curator here of the museum. We talked about some of the items uh, that, that were extracted uh, and recovered from the Peffer Farm, which is right where Pickett's Charge took place. Well, today we're taking a look at a few more really unique artifacts from the Peffer Collection. Now, before we look at some of these items, I, I wanted to showcase a few other artifacts here in the Peffer collection. So, so we've seen this before. This is an artist rendering of Fred Peffer uh, recovering some artifacts from the 11th Mississippi after he, you know, unearthed some of these graves while plowing through his field. That, that was featured in another episode. But here we have like some canister shot. This is one that I really, really like though. Uh, this is a piece of a fence post with a bullet embedded in it that was along the Emmitsburg Road. Okay, so whenever we're talking about Pickett's Charge, obviously there was a lot of lead and uh, artillery pieces that were flying around. Okay, here's one from the, the bloody angle. You see this artillery piece, uh, you know, that is shown punching through this piece of wood. And of course there are just bullets galore and fragments from artillery. There's a piece of a saddle. Uh, but the artifacts that we're getting ready to take a look at might be some of the most unique. Sometimes when people come in the museum, they ask me what my favorite artifact is, and that's really a difficult question. A lot of times, it, it's uh, what I'm working on or what has just come on and come into the museum and what I'm researching at that current time. Um, you know, but you know, if I have to really pick, it would be the stuff that my family had. And uh, my family is the Peffers of Gettysburg, and it, when I was a little kid. Um, that collection was at my grandfather's house, which my grandfather's house is now the Gettysburg Museum of History. Um, we created the museum in his former house. Um, most of the relics, the you know, the dug relics and the things that they found in their fields were found or, or were um, in the basement of this building. And um, you know, I would go and look at those items. But when I would first arrive at my grandfather's house for a visit. I would usually find him in his den, which was, you know, had some books and there, there, there was a television set in there and his, his office and there was a sofa. And um, he had a couple of items from the Pepper collection in his den. And one of the items was this bugle. Now this bugle was found at the first Pepper farm. You know, we think of the Peffer Farm as the 1865 farm, which is out at Dick Ziegler's Grove. But during the battle, they were actually in Freedom Township near the Eisenhower Farm. And that was where some of the, uh, the cavalry action took place. It's called South Cavalry Field. So there, it was behind the Confederate lines where their farm was. And so they, they always called this a Confederate or Rebel Bugle. Um, it's really a, I believe it's a federal issued bugle, but it was probably used by the Confederates. It might have even been pre-war. Um, you know, this, this was one of the early pickups that they, when they came back to the farm. Just a quick background. Um, the Peffers of Gettysburg were farmers, and um, when the, they knew the war was coming to their backyard, they decided to take their animals and go towards the Union lines. The, the idea for a lot of the people in Gettysburg was to put 
the Union Army between them and the Confederates. So they would go towards the Union lines. So what they did was they they went south. The Union were, were mostly coming up from the south. And so they brought their horses and um, a, a few of their other animals and they, and they fled with their children. And they went to some families, uh, some family uh, homes down in the Maryland area. And uh, when they came back, they found this right here. This was, this is a Colt Army revolver, and it was actually found on the kitchen table. When they came back, the Confederates had been through the house, and they had looted the house, basically took all the food out of there, did some damage. They did a little, they, they actually, one of the stories is they threw flour paste into their their prized grandfather clock but whoever was occupying the house had to get out of there in a hurry because they left their their uh, revolver behind and this also was in my grandfather's den and I can remember this as far back as when I was about five or six years old and I remember being able to touch these items and hold them and and look at them and and I remember holding this gun especially as a little kid being fascinated with it and thinking, wow, a Civil War soldier touched that. You know, the, the, the idea of Civil War soldiers was, was so far away from me. They, they had all been long gone. Now, in my grandfather's day, he met Civil War soldiers and he told me stories of Civil War soldiers. But these two items, I probably are, are the ones that, that you know, uh, sparked my, my uh, passion for history and the stories my grandfather told. Now the Peffers of Gettysburg are pictured in, in this photograph right here. Um, this is the family, but Fred Peffer is right here. That's my great-great-grandfather. Now he would have been the head of the family and this is his wife. This is his son Edward Peffer who is my grandfather's father. So this is, this is my great-great-grandfather Frederick Peffer. This is my great-grandfather, Edward Peffer. And uh, the Peffer collection was never sold. A lot of the old family co collections were sold to the Rosensteels and some of the other museums that were here at Gettysburg. The Peffers, for whatever reason, um, kept their relics. Um, and as far as I know, I could be wrong, but um, I think it's the only true Gettysburg re family relic collection that's still in the hands of the family to this day. All right, so there's uh, just a, a little bit more uh, about the, the Pepper collection uh, here in Gettysburg. Whenever we're looking at historical artifacts, uh, really what we're looking at are, are tangible items that help us to tell the story, which is what history is all about, is, is telling the stories and, and learning from them. So anyway, you can come here to the Gettysburg Museum of History, you can take a look at the uh, Pepper Collection, and uh, learn some of the stories of uh, the, the people uh, who were here during that battle in 1863.